It's not a secret that due to a couple of reasons there is a shortage of microwave components in the world market. So there is no other way for us experimenters but work around the problem choosing components still available to have our design implemented. In this specific case I needed a 10 GHz local oscillator with an output of about plus 7 dBm and my for first choice would be the LMX2594 now unavailable apparently until next year and here I show how I solved my particular case. The external reference to the PLL can be 10 or 100 megahertz and can be chosen changing this jumper here. The output frequency can be set to 10.808 gigahertz or 10.224 gigahertz depending on the position of this other jumper here but we will here stick to the 10.224 gigahertz which is obtained doubling the 5.512 gigahertz output of the max 2870 or max 2871 here is the PLL here the doubler it's an analog devices HMC369 here we have uh, an attenuator and here the final amplifier it's a Corvo NLB 310 having at the output uh, conventional structure. I have used a uh, flexible coaxial uh, cable trying to avoid the losses of the FR4 substrate. Now the performance of the local oscillator. The reference frequency here is 100 megahertz and here let me try to focus again this spike here is the 5.512 gigahertz feed through and is about 32 db below the output level now let's change the center frequency to 10.224 gigahertz and the span 1 gigahertz and let's pick the marker marker normal and you can see here that the level is about 6.3, 6.4 dBm, which is okay. And let's measure the frequency. Frequency count on. You can see here is 10.224 gigahertz as expected.